Hello guys, this is Bull back with another Fortnite video. Today we're going to be talking about the Fortnite Season 7 storyline and everything we know so far about it. So if you guys want to basically enter a little giveaway, we're doing one time giveaway on this particular video. This is the giveaways that we're basically doing for you guys. These are all funded by you guys yourself from using the OMG you know the omg bull creator code if you guys type that in the item store all of the v bucks that i earn basically come straight back to you guys so this time we're going to be doing a 220 dollar giveaways so all you guys need to do in the comment section down below is comment what your favorite season is then if it's the same season as mine you'll get put into a random generator and then you can actually get um, a little bit closer to completing and getting yourself the little giveaway prize so basically what we're going to be doing is going through this and having a look so basically let's start with the polar peak so throughout this season it's been melting melting and melting and to be honest the reason why this is the only thing that's melting in the whole entire map so a lot of theories are coming up saying that there could be a possible dragon underneath of the ice which is slowly heating this place up and melting it because as you guys know there's no other ice on the map that's melting except for this so this means there must be something heating this particular area up and um, as you guys can see here if we actually go down into here and then go through here you can see that there is still places that have not been melted yet and this is going to be slowly melting towards the end of the season if we go under here there is almost like a little sort of jail area here you can see here that this is where the dragons would well the dragon eggs are and as you guys know there's no you, you can't what came first guys in the comment section down below as well the chicken or the egg um it's just a pretty you know good question but you know in this terms is it the dragon or the egg and you know there could possibly be a dragon which actually laid these eggs and they're frozen here so where is the mother of these dragons and we'll have to find out a lot of people were also saying that there is blood on these chains now i don't know if this is actual blood or rust because as you guys know fortnite don't actually have blood in their game to make it child friendly so this could be blood or this could be rust we'll just have to wait and see but there's been something going on here something that looks like it would be holding a dragon or maybe a human we'll have to wait and see that this particular thing here looks like it would definitely not be a human that would be holding it this here looks like it would be as almost its legs or something i'm not really sure but we'll just have to wait and see but these are really weird looking things you can see here this is obviously going to be melting away throughout the next you know further further on in the season now there's a lot of other things involved in the storyline i want to show you guys as well and basically this is greasy grove and if you guys didn't know and um, this is basically being referred to as the ice lake and greasy grove used to be here now there is theories that this might melt away and hopefully it does but it's going to be leaving a lot of debris behind if you guys know if you guys haven't noticed there is like some sort of you know if you look in the distance there is actually lots of you know objects and stuff out there so i don't know how they're going to be able to tidy this up because as you guys know there's going to have to be a big event that's going to be have to happen at the end of this season now what it is is going to to be honest if all a lot of the ice melts it's going to be a lot of mess and um, left from the debris so we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens in terms of that but a lot of people have been noticing other changes throughout the season and i predict that tilty towers will probably not get touched hopefully not at least because if it gets touched then this building will never be built even though it's not loading but um this building will fully be, probably be rebuilt by the end of this season or at the start of season eight um, and then that will be it there leaky lake the, something might happen with leaky lake we really don't know but there's a couple of obviously location changes that will probably change throughout the next season just to be honest fortnite usually change locations that don't really get much attention or they want to mix it up slightly so um, we'll probably be expecting some changes over by the northeast side of the map. No, northwest, sorry. Um, now, if you guys have a look here, this this is a stone statue. And if you guys did not know, they're actually this has actually been changing throughout the season. The gestures of this person has been changing. He's actually crying at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens in terms of this. But um, I really honestly don't know too much about this um 
there is some theories going about, but I really can't put my finger on it. We're just going to have to really wait and see exactly what happens within the next, you know, couple of weeks in terms of this. Um, because as you guys know, the week seven is where it really kicks off. So we're actually very close in terms of seeing exactly what's going to be happening within the end of this Fortnite storyline. So I cannot wait for that to kick off. Obviously, we're going to be getting block changes as well. That really changes throughout the game. This is a really good addition um, to the game and I cannot wait for, for, for this to happen. So... Um, other than that, there's not really too much Fortnite storyline related content left there for us to talk about. But um, we're going to be going on and having a look at kind of locations that I think should really be getting changed up. And really, some really good memories from previous seasons. Because if you guys know, the motel, this was the original Meteor. This is probably one of the first ever, this is basically... One of the first ever meteors that hit the map, it was in the first ever, I think it was in the season 4 trailer, and this is still here, you guys can remember, this was the motel, then the rift came, it then disappeared in a rift, and then it brought, was brought back, and this is where the enforcers actually came. You can actually still see the meteor in the ground today, this is one of the only meteor piles you can actually still see um, to this day, apart from Dusty Divot, of course, because Dusty Divot um, is, well, obviously, Dusty Divot, so... This location over here I'm not a big fan of, I, you can actually get some good loot over here, I just feel like there's not enough mobility, you are running a lot, I feel like they should have more zip lines over here just to make it a little bit easier. Um, this used to be actually one of my favourite locations to drop, but I feel like it probably will get changed within the next season. Um, Haunted Hills will stay the same, this will 100% change, the Haunted Mansion will definitely get changed because it is currently decaying at the moment and I obviously have a funny feeling this will be changing. Now, for the super villain base, whether they want to change this or not, I would, hopefully they revamp it up, because this is one of the staples of the Fortnite storyline, I remember coming here all the time, and this was where the rocket originally landed, well not landed, originally took off, and I don't feel like they would want to get rid of this location, so I hopefully they do change it up slightly, and, you know, really bring it back, but we'll have to wait and see in terms of that as well. Um, for the Viking base, I feel like this bait play location is kind of overdue now. It's not really fitting with the Fortnite theme. It's obviously still got the Viking, you know, it's still got that sort of Viking theme to it. But I really feel like it really has overstayed itself. I really don't like it too much. You guys can let me know what you guys think about that as well. Um, this place is about over here. And to be honest, I actually don't particularly like much of the new ice map. This is a, obviously a very controversial opinion for me, but I actually don't mind this this whole side of the map here, this all new side. This is this is this no, I never go here. And I don't think many people will. Just over at this side of the map, over by this rock, over by here, I just feel like it's kind of a useless location. Now landing here is actually not too bad because if you guys did not know there is actually a current little rift underneath here. You can actually go in and it'll take you off of this island. So that's a really good location. I have said this in the previous videos, I feel like this rock here is going to have something to do with the Fortnite storyline due to the fact that there is a hidden bunker underneath it. So, I feel like, yeah, that would be a huge addition to the game if we can get something to do with that. Happy Hamlet, to be honest, is a lot of really good loot locations. This is a really, got a lot of loot if you guys get this to yourself. But it's too close quarters when you're in these buildings, it's too awkward. Um for my liking but it, to be honest it's a pretty good location you will guarantee be getting kitted out with loot after landing here so other than that um lucky land will probably get changed and we'll probably see maybe some desert map changes as well i like the desert and um, it's a really good area and i feel like they should change apart this clock here will probably will have will 100 have something to do with the challenges um, within the next couple of weeks, we're probably going to be getting a challenge saying search between the clock or dance on top of a clock or or something like that. Um, like dance on top of three clocks or something like that and this will be one of them. We'll just have to wait and see. So as you can see here, Fatal Field, one of the OG locations, this was obviously changed with all of the, all of the hay and stuff. But that is pretty much it for the end of this video. We've went pretty much around the whole map and... To be honest, I am really excited for the Fortnite storyline to really kick off now. I hope you guys enjoy as well. Please stay tuned on the channel, subscribe for more Fortnite storyline videos like this. I know I've been rambling on at the end here, but I'm just trying to just really talk and give my... To be honest, I'm just telling you my personal opinion on what I like to really happen within the Fortnite se Season 7 storyline and what kind of map changes I'd like. If you guys are interested, and I think some, some of you guys, if you guys have made it to this long in the video, I th thank you guys so much for making it this far. Um... 
and just listening to what I have been saying. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video and goodbye.